Nasal syphilis can be acquired or it can be congenital. So it can be acquired or it can be present at birth or it's congenital. Acquired type of syphilis is a primary, which is rare, manifest as chancre of nasal vestibule. Diagnosis by uh, manifest as simple rhinitis, mm, the secondary. Now we are talking about secondary uh, acquired syphilis. Primary is rare. Secondary is rarely recognized, manifest as simple rhinitis. Diagnosed by presence of mucus petechiae, pa mucus patches in pharynx, rash, fever, and lymph adenitis. So syphilis can be acquired or congenital. Acquired syphilis of nose can be primary or secondary. Primary is rare, usually they are, it is manifested by the chancre. Secondary syphilis is, it manifests as a, a rhinitis and it is diagnosed by presence of patches uh, in the pharynx, there is fever and also lymph adenitis. Then the tertiary syphilis is, in the tertiary syphilis, nose is involved and this condition is manifested as gamma formation, destruction of septum, perforation of nas and nasal discharge and saddle nose deformity. So primary syphilis, secondary syphilis, tertiary syphilis, as the stages progress, the condition becomes worse and worse. And then in the tertiary syphilis, there is gamma formation, perforation of the septum, there is discharge and there is saddle nose deformity. Next, the congenital uh, nasal syphilis can be early. Early syphilis uh, congenital occur in the first three months of life, manifest as snuffles linked with fissuring and excoriation. Late congenital manifest around puberty, like tertiary stage of acquired syphilis, there are gamma, gametous lesion, corneal opacities, deafness, and Hutchinson teeth are present. So congenital syphilis can be early in the first three months or can be late at the time of puberty. Late syphilis is usually by, like uh, it's characterized by gametous lesion and also by corneal opacities, deafness, and Hutchinson's teeth. Thank you.